what's up everybody back again with another colossus this time i decided to get rid of the dingo and go full gecko i've as i've gotten gunners here and there sometimes a full rack of gunners the dingo just doesn't seem to be able to do anything exceptionally well it's not a ranger it, it tracks too slowly its rockets can't doesn't have the velocity it needs the gecko is like a sniper rifle so it just seems like whatever the dingo can do the gecko can do better same thing with the pug and uh, the goblin is okay in some instances but so far the gecko seems to be the way to go still running gnar still running recycler and still running fire suppression although i almost pulled the mad because now that i'm on indar there's a lot more visible terrain that i can hit but i figured i want to stay alive longer more than i want to kill so that's where we are let's go ahead and just gonna go ahead and start rolling so this happens a lot in the Colossus as of late, not even as of late, just pretty much forever. Just been, I don't know, it just takes a while to get to where you're going. A few times I've been ambushed along the way, but most of it, even as a solo, it's, it's nothing I can't really handle. I have started figuring out that if you angle the Colossus down into the side, you have a much better chance of being able to hit something lower with your with your Skylands. And what I mean by that is if I want to hit that Cordium crystal right there, I'm going to not do that. <laughs> I'm going to kind of go up at an angle like this. And now I can deploy. I'm a little bit off center from it, but there you go. I can still hit the top. Whereas if I tried to do that just normal, I would definitely, I'd clear the top. I can't hit it now. Yeah. So good rule of thumb, angle your tanks, angle your tanks so that you can hit the corners. I'm going to go ahead and call this Colossus Squad. Alright, jump on in. I don't have logistics on. That's... So I'm going to go ahead and move on up while I get the outfit made in. I'll go get him. Probably gonna let him drive. He's been wanting to drive for a little while, and this is the ninth pull, so. Yeah, man, it's huge. Now, you want a gun or you want to drive? Alright, cool. So he's gonna go ahead and test the guns. But we'll get him in the driver's seat. And so all of those are are geckos they fire pretty straight it's like a basilisk on steroids and it, it hits very hard i have on i have ammo but even with ammo printer you will still run the ammo very fast the gecko but it does an insane amount of damage and it fires very flat so just have at it i have on fire suppression cord and recycler so i have pretty much infinite uh, what am I looking for? Infinite Cordium. <laughs> so that's damage mitigation and the on things like Skylands battery. So I'm gonna try and hit this galaxy ahead. So I'm taking damage, but my NAR will end up saving me on that one so 
So I'm just pretty much hitting what I can. And you can hit them from where you are, by the way, Vale. Smart. So with a basilisk overhead, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and move on out. So my gunner is Veil vale is Yeah, we've we haven't been able to do that in a while, but we're we're trying now with activity. So my gunner decided to position his turret so that He's positioning his turrets out in every angled direction. That's pretty smart. You know, it, it might not make a difference, uh, a huge difference, but it, it does make some difference. And the fact that he knows to do that is pretty smart. So, so far with the bastion overhead, I can pretty much be as aggressive as I need to be. I'll just angle my Skylance down nose at the bridge. That way I can clear anything below it. Just go ahead and pop a shot there. See what I get. Nothing. So. So that's where we are. Skylance is my favorite weapon now. It absolutely just destroys if you can hit that's the thing you have to be able to hit it so there's a liberator over over uh 99 see if i can get him popping off right about nope now i'm getting hit by something Ooh. prowlers tr they might. I don't think they see me. So I'll, I'll focus some of the infantry up here, but also keep an eye over there. Just in case. This thing is a sniper snipe. If I can hit anything. But the name of the game, I think, for the Colossus is survive. Just survive. Oh, hit him. Got him again. That's a long shot, but maybe. I'm not taking any damage from anything I can see. Now, what I do have to be careful of is the NAR. The NAR will not repair me if I've taken a shot. I think the... the Reset timer is 10 seconds, 12 seconds. Let's take a look. 12 seconds. So every time I take a shot, because the Skylands battery deals damage to me specifically, I, uh, the reset happens for the NAR. So as long as I can just kind of account for that, then as you can see, my, my 10,000 health pool is now back at max. So. I'm really just chilling here, providing some support. Yeah. Hey, hey, Skinny coming right out of south. Good shot. Good kill. So my gunner there was able to, to kill a little infantry coming at us. Not too heavy above... Yeah, they're a little, little slower, but they they hit twice, almost three times as hard. It's it's insane how much damage they do. So I'm gonna take out that max. I don't know. Once you get the Skylance battery in position, you can do a massive amount of damage. But, but you're you're hugely vulnerable when you're when you've got your Skylance going. Yep, sure can. It shoots straight as an arrow, so as long as you can hit something, 
it, it's got a very small, you know, margin of error. But hey, uh, skinny going one one eight toward northeast. He's running down the mountainside. To the left of the vanguard, he's almost at the road. So, so I seem seems like I have a pretty smart gunner, and I like that. He's he's communicating. I'm gonna go ahead and set this bad boy out just to see if we can't detect people. Ooh, I should have I should have gone lower. I know that I should have gone lower, but whatever. So accordion will not restock while I have it kind of just chilling in uh, Skylands mode. But as soon as I deactivate it, it instantly it's going to take that thing out. Oh, it went right through it. Let's take out that AA gun. Needs to stop being okay. I see some prowlers over to my right. Let's go ahead and take this. What? Oh, that is a lot of VS. We might die. So we're going to kill, punish them for being still. You again, huh? Anyone who's still, you're going to get punished for it. You are a pretty easy lead. You are definitely an easy lead. Let's go ahead and hit you in the nose. Got to move because there's some prowlers on me now. Good. Good call. Very good call. So now let's get out of here. Pop my fire suppression because I could be in trouble at any second. And then I need to get underneath this. And now I can go back to work. So. So I'm going to go ahead and fire back at him. Give him something to think about. Oh. Wow, I have... There's a lot of stuff hitting me right now. Alright, so I'm going to get out. Dodge. Just kind of back up. No, what? No, no, go right ahead. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble and I know it. Let's go ahead and, uh... Because <clears throat> there's multiple fields of fire hitting me. And I have... Oh, gosh darn it. Alright, well that one's over. Yeah, that was a enemy TR column. Colossus killed me. So, I knew I was in trouble. I could have ran. I had the gunners to support. But, ultimately I decided to stay and fight. So, good. Good run, but ultimately, didn't last too long. And that'll be this one.